Oh, uh, this is Kevin H. Oh, speaking of characters that cheat, these two, these two characters, cheat. I think Luigi is a combo machine, and in the same vein, Game & Watch is an anti-air machine. Mm -hmm. Right? You really can't, cannot approach Game & Watch from above. You kind of have to play more of the ground game. But that's yeah. something that Luigi loves to do, is approach from above. Because of his aerial drift not being that great, he can still go for things like dare. And that's one thing for Kevin H to figure out here. How well can he play against the neutral against Game & Watch? Yeah, like, if in this matchup, I feel like you're praying maybe I could get that landing uh, that landing Zare to get yeah. myself into... I feel like that's the best option, too. Yeah, into a grab. But honestly, Bacon, that neutral B, that's going to be a good option, like, to stop that, to prevent it. <laughs> because, like, it, it sends... It, I mean, it has it covers a good amount of ground. Oh, he got a misfire right there. It's like 43% already. That man was blessed the last second, too. But also, Luigi has an invincible option as well with his with his down B. Yeah. And like that's kind of what these both these characters are going to abuse, is they're both frame one invincible options. Yeah, and you kind of have to get used to, I mean, one thing I tell the people about when they fight Elegant, too, they have to get used to Luigi cycloning as a ledge. You kind of have to let go of the ledge a little bit mm -hmm. and then react to your opponent going for that cyclone because they do want to go that as a get up option mm -hmm. to kind of make sure they come back on stage. A second misfire here, Kevin H on the ground, finally. One forward to, to tra uh, Travi? Yeah, Travi's, yeah, 73. You know what's crazy? Travi's at kill percent. Yeah. Even oh, watch like a top five like character in the game. Yeah, like uh, honestly, if at this percent, I think I honestly think that a grab down throw down B will kill. Yeah, hits him with there. Yeah. I like it. He's looking for the opportunity to take the stock, yeah. not coming in too much. But each fireball brings up bucket mm. closer to being filled. Yeah, and that's kind of one of those things that Luigi has to account for in this matchup, right? How I can't really get away from fireballs. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I don't see. Kevin kind of like fishing for the grab as much as I feel like he should. Yeah. Like it is, it is a tether grab. It is a little slower, but you need to respect what we did grab. Oh, uh, you landed with the down beat. It's a pretty good option, but you can't use that too often because uh, they will read it and they will punch you heavy, heavily for it. Especially Game and Watch with this up B also being invincible. All right. Yeah. Gets his air. I like how he was going for it off stage too to kind of stop the recovery. That up B is very, very good. Mm -hmm. As we've learned to see from Meister, probably gonna be like, in my opinion, Meister has the contention to be like PGR. He is uh, top 15, top 20. Really? Yeah, no, he's gonna be ridiculously yeah. high up on that PGR. Easy. He went from being area 51 to just indefinitely being top 10. That's how he was in the last game too. I didn't see too much of. Him. I know, I know there was still like Reggie. Yeah. But towards but, the tail end, there was a lot of talk about Ma Meister. Yeah. But yeah, no, like. This character, this character slept on. I, you know what I tell yeah. everybody? I think it's something that we've learned as the game has gone on. There are more high tiers in this game than there are mid tiers. Versus the Smash 4, mm -hmm. where the mid tiers are definitely more evident yeah. than, the, than the high tiers. This game has way more high tiers. It almost feels like almost every character is viable in their own way. Yeah, but there's, an, but there's another issue too, where in Smash 4, there were a few characters that just completely invalidated a lot of the cast. In this yeah. game, you really only have Palu. Yeah, it, it, that's true. And the Smash 4, we kind of have to like consider things like Bandita and Cloud running the meta because a lot of characters just did not go as high as the tier list because those characters were such a dominant threat in the meta. Yeah. We couldn't really use Game & Watch because Cloud Upper was just... That one move let alone was enough to stop you. Yeah. But now, like, the only real, like, extremely oppressive move in this game is Palu and Air. Yeah. And like uh, every and other, I believe it has like 12 yeah. frames of end lag too, yeah. so it's punishable. It's just you kind of have to really get a feel for when your opponent is gonna go for nair. But then again, like when don't they go for nair? Yeah, like there's, like there's nearly no reason to not go for it. Ooh, that was aggressive. I know he has like uh, a bit of intangibility on his head when he does the dash attack, but even that, that's sketchy. Yeah, and. Within us just discussing about the matter here, Kevin H looking to break it between him and Game and Watch. Up smash trades with the bomb here. One, oh, two frame. That's really bad for Luigi. Gotta use the jump. Oh, oh no. He and, almost saved him. Yeah, he, no, he did. He, I didn't see if it was a red splash or not. They no, done. it was not. It was definitely attackable. He was okay, only at 100. I didn't, see, I didn't see the red splash. Yeah. No, also, I, shout out to Nintendo for finally letting us know. Like, a lot of people aren't happy that they're not techables in this game. Yeah. But let's be real, man. Imagine the Snake. If he, if if there were, if everything was actually techable and there were no untechables in this game, Snake could live forever. No, it's fine because like you just go off the top. That and is like, not fine. And like he'll blow, him, like he'll eventually. That is not fine. Imagine trying to edge guard Snake and just blows himself up every single time. He could stall. That's not fine. 
that's fine. No, that's no, not no, fine. no, it is fine because then everyone else would have like a certain option that would be similar. No. Nah. Luigi no, like, would have an un. Will, will, how would Luigi recover against? What? 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 Okay. What? <laughs> Luigi can't recover in this game, and that's a that's a blessing. Remember when he could recover? Oh yeah, was, that was uh, that was, <laughs> that was, that was, that was that was cursed. Yeah, no, that character is cursed. I don't See. want. Snake is already a pain to deal with. Imagine him having. Imagine there being no untuckables in this game. He can just infinite mm -hmm. off the stage. That's not okay. Oh, no tech there either. Might need to go. Might need to go into some training right there for that. You might need a training mod pack for that. Mm -hmm. Instead of to learn techs. Mm -hmm. Oh man, honestly, that Luigi there, like just dropping down on you. I honestly think it's like one of the best ledge options. Like uh, the best ways to prevent people from snapping a ledge. Yeah. And because Luigi's aerial drift is pretty slow, he can still come up with another aerial. Let's hit the ledge forward Ooh. smash off the roll. Okay. I do know that each sausage generates within 32 frames. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming that's roughly within the end lag. But looking at how fast he's able to move after each after each chef option, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that end lag is not that bad. Oh, ate him with the turtle. Does he still have his No jump? misfire, but he has to go for another Oh, jump. he got and one he there. Misfire. Oh, I think that misfire might have messed him up because <laughs> yeah. he went above the ledge and he got... He got back aired. Yeah, he got back aired for it. So that's gonna be interesting. But now we got Nairs coming up from Game Watch. Oh no, here's a combo train. Oh, oh dude, if that was a nine, that would have been <laughs> sick. If, if that was a nine man, if I were Kevin Nation, I would have just dropped the controller. Oh, I would have, I would have gone home, bro. <laughs> like, Look at the Bob. Damn man, I really just got nine. Good parry though. Bro, it, it, it feels bad to get clipped on. It does. <laughs> and no, oh, we got him with an up. Still it's really bad to get clipped yeah. on. Oh, it's so bad to get clipped on. Like, no, it's worse. It's worse than a major when Sir Toasty clips. You're like, damn, man, I was really part of that clip. Yeah, it's like, damn it, what? He really did that to me? Like, now, now everyone got to know, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, now the whole world knows. Yeah. And the then, one thing I'm liking that Kevin Ichi is doing here, he's going for more Zares and less Fireballs, obviously because of Bucket, but you mentioned earlier how it's such a great option for Luigi. Watch the landing because if Kevin H will unfortunately get oh. punished. Oh. He's good, he's good, he's good. Yeah. Save oh. the jump? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There. Too early with the up smash too. Yeah, I, that, but that that's like the those options where you should just he go for the down B. Yeah, he had to come into yeah. that jump. He was ar he was already like at that opportunity. He had to come into the jump, and unfortunately, Kevin H will drop 